Right, good morning, Katarina. Happy 2018, Megan. Good morning. Good morning. Um, when Wednesday? What are my wins right now? Mm -hmm. I'm getting classes scheduled. I'm getting ready for Portland, Seattle next week. Not next week, the week after. Um, really, really excited to teach classes there with Lydia. So I met an amazing, amazing lash artist. Her name is Lydia. She's sometimes here. Her, her, she goes by Nailed It Lashes. I mentored her a couple months ago, back in September when I came to the Pacific Northwest. And she was an ama she is an amazing lash artist. And um, I was very impressed by her skills. She actually really inspired me. So I've been teaching um, how to do lash extensions for five years. I've had, I have two lash studios. I've had one growing at, we had our 10 year anniversary, but really what that is is that serves as 10 years since I started um, doing lashes in 2007. It's evolved to be two lash studios and, and I don't see a lot of amazing, amazing lash work sometimes coming through our doors. So when we service clients that are coming from other locations, we unfortunately don't see really strong um, talented work coming in and it, and that is what that's what originally drives me is that I want lash artists no matter what even if you're the lash studio down the street I want you to be doing amazing I want I want every client to have amazing lashes because if you have your lashes done I even had a lash artist here the other day asking me or I or maybe it was I don't know where I was the question was but um you know I need to be sold on lashes because I had them done once and didn't enjoy them and it's like oh my gosh like if you've had a great set of lashes like life is like life will never be the same so I feel like everyone should feel that way and um, so I'm passionately training and I'm, I'm training and I'm mentoring and as many people who will let me speak to them hence why I'm here every day and trying to teach you trying to inspire you trying to make sure everyone in the world is doing lashes correctly um, met Lydia I, I just started putting myself out there further and further last year. So 2017, I started this live stream. Um, 2017, I started tra traveling and training because basically I've been training in San Diego, Monterey, and then maybe LA in between. I haven't really branched out um, to train anyone else outside of these areas. But now that I'm here live and I'm meeting you girls and things like that, I'm, I, you know, I have new opportunities opening for me. And so I'm training. I met you, Victoria. Um, I met some great girls. I had a great class in Portland. Kristen, SB, Danielle. They were great, great girls. I went and mentored um, with Lydia. And I, anyway, Lydia is co-training with me in Seattle. And I usually, you know, I nurture lash artists to to become to the to the point of training with me after I've trained them and they've practiced for many years. But I met this lash artist who does lashes completely different than I do, with Complete, tweezers that brilliant doesn't even sell. This girl's off the chains and she does a great phenomenal job, which is what I love. It was it was like that is what I love. I love that you can do lashes whatever way works for you with whatever tools work for you as long as the end result is that industry standard that people are walking around with amazing lashes. Like that that just drove me wild. So I love that and that I'm all about that. I'm teaching you what works for me and I share my experiences in hopes that that will help you if you are ever in a in a place where you feel lost or you can remember a story, but do lashes however, you know, works for you as long as you have that end result. And I am literally rambling. Thank you for um, encouraging me to ramble because that is what's going on right now. <laughs>